The history of pixel art, in broad strokes, has been known since the early days of video games. The term was coined by Adele Goldberg and Robert Flagel at the Xerox Research Center in 1982, but the concept dates back 11 years earlier with the development of the SuperPaint graphics computer in 1972. During that time, the need to create digital images to represent programming language effects was limited by computer memory capacity. Image size and color usage were restricted to minimal values. Pixel art emerged as a digital art form created using computer programs, where images were edited at the pixel level. Animations were crafted to breathe life into on-screen elements, generated through sequences of images arranged over a specific period. Each of these images was known as a sprite, describing a two-dimensional bitmap image. In practice, sprites were organized systematically to create vibrant, lifelike worlds. However, pixel art has roots in traditional and manual applications, such as pointillism, mosaics, cross-stitching, or plastic bead compositions. These art forms pay special attention to the positioning of each color point. The techniques and principles we'll explore in the upcoming readings can serve as a foundation for creating pieces in any of these traditional and manual artistic branches. So what is pixel art? To answer this question, we need to dissect the anatomy of pixel art. It primarily consists of forms created from blotches, which are clusters of pixels. Adding more pixels causes them to join together, forming what we call blotches. Properly contouring these blotches reveals shapes and adds complexity to our creations, which in turn extends the creation time. The use of contour techniques allows us to define our forms and contrast them with others. Anti-alias techniques smooth the jagged nature of pixels, while using blotches with tone and value variations enables us to represent volume and depth. Mosaic techniques come into play when working with limited color palettes to transition between colors. We'll delve deeper into these techniques in the following readings. The techniques you choose for your pieces will define their style. Not all your pieces need to have the same style, although many artists prefer to develop their own unique style. However, consistency is key when starting a project and maintaining the same style from start to finish. This is what pixel art is all about. In the next reading, we will discuss the contemporary value of pixel art in the market, the niches available, and the various specializations you can explore.